I try to select pieces of marble that already resemble wings to me, and a diamond saw helps me rough out the block rather quickly. I have a tendency to overthink everything. So with my wing series, I try to let go a little bit and the feathers form themselves and I draw and I change direction as I go. I have so much respect for ancient sculpture, especially when I run into those hard to reach places. Without mechanical tools, it's just you and the chisel and the angle. So these are the tools that I do the remaining of the shaping and the detail work with, like my favorite and most trusted hammer. Chisels, tooth, rondel, flat, and a diamond rasp. Details like the rachis and vein are easily formed using all of these tools. It's just a lot of careful carving. So I improv a lot of composition and this looked too straight to me, so I cut in some notches. Tiny little holes drilled with a Dremel just give a little bit more depth to the feathers themselves. The wings are so highly detailed that a lot of sanding would remove all the details, so I pretty much settle for sanding the rachis and a little bit along the edges of the vein. The Italians call it punta per tutare, which basically means a point to trace. It's a perfect little pencil chisel. I have a little bit of ink on all my work. It references the ancient Greeks painting of their marble sculptures and my past as a painter. Marble is a precious resource, so I take all the rubble, crush it up into aggregate and dust, and use it as casting material. So it's a zero waste studio environment where I really try to recycle and reuse everything. I used to really stress about my bases. You know, would it be a granite base for a wing? Would it be another piece of marble? Would I try to have to cut a piece of wood? Now I can customize them to any size and weight that I need and use up all this material in my studio.
a little bit of paint and the vases are ready. But the best part of the process is actually exhibiting the finished sculptures. With a fabulous team, chaos becomes order. In the time of AI-generated art, it begs the question of whether or not making anything by hand matters. But I believe the hand, with its tendency toward mistakes and exaggerations, reveals our humanity. It is the window to our soul.